Hi everyone and welcome. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit this time and rather than just simply reviewing a radio, I thought it'd be a fun idea to actually build one. So what I did, I got onto AliExpress, I looked what was around and I found this. This is a little personal FM radio receiver kit that I found, would you believe, just for £1.17 plus 78 pence shipping. So in other words, you can get yourself an FM radio kit for less than £2 or 3 US dollars, which I think is really good value. This particular one covers 76 to 108 megahertz. And what you do basically, you employ a pair of headphones, so it's real personal sort of listening. But I guess you could also put that into a small amplifier if you wanted to. Um, it just employs a small circuit board and it employs also push buttons for doing the scanning up and scanning down, off and on for the actual power, and then volume up and volume down. The main heart of this is an RD5807 FP chip. This is a surface mounted chip, and basically what it is, it's an actual FM broadcast receiver. This also got a small built-in amplifier. And what I'll do, I'll actually put the circuit diagram on the screen, just so you can have a look at it. As you can see, it employs very few peripheral components. So I thought it'd be good just to have a look at what you get actually in the kit and then we'll see if we can build one and get it to work. So this is a little polythene bag that you get. You get a very simple circuit diagram with it and then you get all the various components. I'll come out of the bag. So you've got your little whoops, holder. That's your little battery holder there. And then you've got your PC board. And the idea is it's just, it's just tie up onto that and then you can utilize that as a little personal receiver. So you get all the, the actual sort of peripheral components and then you also then get the actual surface mounted chip. I hope you can see that. And that's gonna be the fun one to solder. And if we can solder that, then everything else shouldn't be too much trouble. So let's get on with the build. Okay, so we've completed the assembly of this little radio. I've popped some batteries in. So all we need to do now is to turn it on and to test it. One little thought might be going through your mind is, where's the aerial? You'd expect some kind of a throw out aerial. Well, the designs have actually come with quite a neat solution to this. Normally what you do, you get your earphones and you plug them into the jack and away you go. It's when you plug them in that the leads on your earphones actually turn into an aerial. So it's a rather neat solution to that problem. However, we can't use earphones on this demonstration, so instead what I'm going to do is utilize this. This is a little TDV26. So what this is, it's a little FM radio, it's also a Bluetooth speaker, and it also plays MP3 tracks as well. This is a really neat little unit. And if you would like to know more about this, then pop across my channel, I've done a video on this. So what we're going to do is take advantage of the auxiliary in there, plug the two together, and then see how the radio performs. So I'm going to connect it up. Let's turn it on. Let's see where we get. AUX mode. I think this is a really neat little unit to be honest. Um, it doesn't cost very much money. It's good practice for the solving, especially with that surface mount chip. And you end up with quite a useful and usable little personal FM radio. 
Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then pop across my channel. There's plenty of other videos, both of some classic transistor radios and some modern ones as well. As always, appreciate you watching and I'll catch up with you soon.